I think we are live. Hello, everyone. Hello, guys. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, I hope you didn't wait too long. Uh, we had some uh, crowdcast issues. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, welcome to the next edition, uh, 2023 edition of Tech Talks uh, with Astar team. Uh, this is like uh, more development uh, related. So if uh, if you are not uh, deeply into development, I hope uh, it will be understandable for you as well. Uh, Pierre is uh, talking uh, really nicely, so you can follow up. Um, we have a very interesting topic today, um, and uh, I'll, I'll leave uh, you with, uh, with Pierre. Please let us know in the comments if there are some issues with the, if you cannot see slides or anything. Yes, yes and if you have any question, Please, of yes, course. yes. Questions. Ask. Yeah, there is a box for questions. Uh, we'll be uh, answering as we go. Okay. So today, topic is uh, bring liquidity to Wasm contracts from Palette Assets. So we will first introduce Astar and um, see what is Astar Tech Talk. Then I will show you three ways to bring liquidity to Wasm environment. And we will focus on one of this way, which is bring liquidity from palette assets. Then we'll go through a bit of code of PSP22 uh, wrapper, and then having a live demo on Shibuya, not on local this time in Shibuya directly. And then we'll go to a Q and A. So Asta Network is the future of smart contract for multi-chain. Uh, why? Because there is three main components. First one is we have two VM, smart contract VM, so EVM for legacy solidity, and then the new WASM smart contract. We also have DAP staking where user can stake their tokens and then a DAP developer can earn a passive income. And uh, XVM, which is a cross virtual machine and will allow contracts from EVM and WASM to interact each other. Today we are in Astar Tech, Tech, Tech Talk and it's uh, from developer to developer. I'm developer at Astar. Maybe you're not developer, but at least you are interested in uh, technical matters of Astar. So we'll usually deep dive on a topic. And uh, this goal of this Tech Talk is for you to know the latest feature, latest technology of Astar, so you can be inspired to build innovative tabs on top of it. So let's deep dive. Um, as you know, Wasm uh, Palette Contracts is already available on Shiden. It will soon be available on Astar. And as a new smart contract environment, Usually there is no liquidity in day one. So there is different way of uh, bringing liquidity. Each network has its own way, but usually a smart contract environment is, uh, is I will say closed. So that's mean you need to bring liquidity from the inside, which is for example, on Ethereum is just create a ERC20 on Ethereum manage it and then you just bring liquidity to ethereum here you can do it by wasm itself so with a psp 22 a psp 34 if it's nft or a psp 37 if it's a multi-token but the best way is to bring liquidity from where it already exists and where it already exists it's first from evm so this will be done using XVM. We had a tech talk last month before Christmas about it. So when XVM will be enabled from Wasm smart contract, then you will be able to bring any liquidity existing in EVM. Second way is from palette assets. So if we give Wasm contract a chain palette asset chain extension, then it will be possible in a Wasm smart contract to bring any liquidity present on palette asset level. And as you might know, palette assets 
um, here is living, there is living assets rocked by XM. So any other asset existing in state mind, state mint or state mine in Kusama and all native parachain tokens. An example, for example, from Tether team, imagine Tether wants to bring USDT to Astar. Um, they have many options. First, uh, the one they choose actually is to deploy um, the USDT by creating an asset on state mint, state mint in, um, in the Polkadot ecosystem. And then by here, everybody by XCM, everybody means user um, will bring this USDT to their target parachain. And then USDT come to Astar using XCM. And then by here, um, either you can like dispatch it to um, EVM or to Wasm and then using it in your dApps. Second thing, uh, they can deploy an ERC-22. I think Tether team really know, is really no, knowledgeable in ERC-20. So they can just deploy their ERC-20 to uh, EVM on Astar. And then uh, Wasm contracts dApps will use this uh, ERC-20 contracts via XCM in, their, uh, in the Wasm environment or they can go for the native way and deploy a PSP22 that they will manage uh, on Wasm itself. I don't know if there is question on this. No, let's continue. So here, a small diagram. Uh, I wrote an article uh, on the Medium about three ways to bring liquidity to Astar. Um, and right now, um, we are in the left diagram without chain extension. So you have the substrate uh, runtime of Astar, which is made of pallets. And here we focus on three pallets, assets, EVM, and pallet contracts that holds Wasm smart contracts. And at the moment, what can you do? You basically uh, use XCM to teleport asset between parachains. And once they are in Astar environment, then you can use XC20, which is an ERC20 that maps to an asset and then use it in EVM. But Wasm smart contract right now uh, live only in their environment. So the only way to bring uh, liquidity to it, it's by creating directly a PSP22 to it or use a third party bridge, but this is uh, unsecure. So with chain extension, what can you do? Um, for example, with pallet asset chain extension, we'll bring Wasm smart contract. Uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but I am here. So here, uh, uh, Wasm smart contract can basically do whatever he wants with Palette Asset. So we will see that he can create an asset on Palette Asset or he can uh, mint, burn or transfer or, or everything. So you can basically have a contract that um, is uh, the admin of an asset or just a wrapper around an asset. And with XVM uh, that we have seen already last month, you can also call any contract on EVM. And one of the, I would say, call you can do is to bring liquidity directly to, to Wasm. So let's focus a bit more on Palette Asset Chain Extension. So all, so this trade is available to call in the contract. So that's mean um, this is an API, API available in the contract. So you can create mint burn uh, um, a token. Of course, you can transfer and of course do all kinds of uh, query 
um, balance total supply and all the metadata section, uh, which is nice because that means it's not only uh, how to say a controller of a contract where like you can use transfer the asset between the contract and users, but you can really um, do any kind of uh, use cases from locking token, from having a contract that will actually create an asset on palette assets. So it will be the sole owner of the, of the asset. And then that's mean that you contract as it will also be an asset will can leverage your DAP will leverage XCM um, and so on. So really it's a full scope of palette asset that will be available in your contract. Small announcement to make for all DAP builders in this uh, tech talk. This chain extension will be live on Shiden by the end of the month. So if you have any use cases you want to build on top of Wasm and you need to leverage the liquidity of Palette assets, then it will be possible in end of the month on Shiden. Let's have a live. Uh, what about uh, Astar? So Astar, uh, first we need to enable uh, Wasm uh, contracts palette. So Wasm smart contract on Astar, and then it will come after this. Yeah, maybe just to uh, elaborate a bit more. So we are waiting for the uh, audit official audit for the palette and then we'll be introducing it on Aster mainnet. Yes. And also waiting for ink for 4.0. So what I will show you in the in the demo. First I will just um, I will just present you a PSP22 wrapper. Uh, how does it work? Uh, and then we'll have a, just a small demo. I will deploy it on Shibuya. I will create a new asset, uh, then mint this asset for Alice. Then inside the wrapper, Alice will deposit KSM and will get wrap KSM. Then I will transfer this wrap KSM to Bob. And then Bob will withdraw KSM. So he will send, burn his wrap KSM to get KSM back. So here where I am first, I need to first we are, I am in chain extension contract, which is a collection of uh, chain extension contract available in, uh, in Astar. And here you have contract PSP 22 pilot wrapper. Actually, I can show you from here. And here I'm importing pilot asset chain extension. Yeah, please uh, enlarge a bit. Yes. I am importing pilot asset chain extension here. There is an event. It's really a basic uh, PSP 22 using uh, open brush. And then, of course, in storage, it should have palette asset extension that will store the asset ID. In the constructor, there is the asset ID because this is a wrapper. So that means uh, you will use this contract to bring liquidity from existing asset. So you just uh, have the asset ID in the constructor. And when you deposit, you basically here transfer the the asset from your from the caller to the contract and then the contract will mint its token to you so for example means you send ksm to the contract and then the contract will mint for you wrapped ksm in withdraw you basically burn your wrapped ksm and then the contract send back to you some ksm So let's use, uh, let's create an asset. So here I'm using this one because 
Alcad Edge VS UI still has an open issue that is not compatible uh, with the latest version of Palette contracts, but it's a it's just a Polkadot.js apps issue. So we have our own where we deployed this fix. So in assets, let's create an asset. It's big enough, Mario. Um, yeah, it's kind of okay. okay. Okay, like this. So let's create KSM. I think that's the third KSM existing in Shibuya. But who cares? It's a test net. Asset decimal, we can uh, put zero. Minimum balance, we can put 10. And asset ID, 98. OK. So I will use, uh, I will use my Shibuya test. Maybe just okay. short explainer. So this is uh, where you can add any asset. So any any of you can go and and make their own assets. Yes, here I'm I'm creating an asset on palette assets. There is no contract involved right now. Um, this is palette assets. Okay, so here we have our token created. Sometimes the uh, UI doesn't display the token name, so we need to refresh. So here we have our KSM with ID 98. I don't have the bar. <laughs> it's kind of familiar, I think. And there are zero KSMs here, right? Yes, here there is zero KSM. So you need to click on mint. I will zoom again. And here I will mint to uh, my Shibuya test. I will mint uh, 1,000, 10,000 KSM. And now if I go to balance and I check KSM, I can see that my Shibuya test have 10,000. Now the goal is to transfer without using a pilot asset, only using PSP22 wrapper, using the contract, uh, transfer uh, token to the Shiden test account, Shiden account. It's not a test account, actually. So in contracts, I will deploy my PSP22 wrapper that I've already um, already built in chain extension contract. Target ink PSP22 wrapper that contract. And here asset ID is 98 and then I deploy. Basically, we now have a new asset in Basm environment wrapping, wrapped uh, KSM, right? Exactly. This is a contract uh, wrap KSM. I could actually name it uh, wrap KSM. And now uh, I will using Shibuya test to deposit some uh, some token. So here 
SBI is 20, 18 decimal, so I will I put at all. And I will I will deposit 100. Now you can see that my my account only hold old like one hundred less, and then uh, I will transfer so wrap KSM to my second address. So I will use transfer. I will use my Shibuya test, and I will transfer to Shiden. I will transfer. Just to uh, just to uh, non confuse it, so this is just the name of the account, right? This is not Shiden Network. No, no, this is the name of the account. This this is the name of the account. So just read, and it says okay. So we can sign the transaction, sign it. And then I will use my Shiden account to withdraw my 50 KSM. So right now, if I check, if I check my, my balance, balance of, uh, balance of Shiden, owner Shiden, I can say that I can see that I have 50 wrapped token. So I will, uh, withdraw KSM from this 50 wrapped token. Withdraw calling from Shiden and I will withdraw my 50 token. Okay. Okay, and if I go check my balance, you can see that my Shibuya has uh, 100 less and my Shiden gets its 50 KSM. And the 50 KSM that is still missing are actually in the, in the contract on the balance of a Shibuya test. I don't know if there is a question about this. No, we have no questions. Okay. Then that's uh, that's all for me. Thank you, guys. Okay, so if there are no questions, this was uh, short and sweet. I hope uh, it will be useful for people building uh, on top of Aster. Um, it's still a bit early, it's still on a, on a testnet, but it will be very soon on the mainnet. And uh, we hope to see many new tokens. Maybe, Pierre, maybe you can, uh, do you know like the, uh, what is the fee to deploy your asset? Do you, do you know any numbers? It's a uh, cost. It's pretty cheap. I think you can, uh, but for this, you can just go to, you can already deploy, uh, you can already deploy uh, assets to Shiden, so this is this you can already do. But I think the main here, the main, I will say, uh, use case will be to use uh, existing assets, so KSM or USDT 
or uh, native token, it's already, of course, possible, but any parachain, other parachain um, token or can any, be visible. Yeah. Or any other uh, token from the state mine, state mine in this case. Exactly, right? state mine, yes. So yeah, I think this is a, the first uh, use case that we will see. OK, thanks, Pierre. Thanks, Thank everyone, you guys. for listening. Uh, and see you on the next one. See you, bye. Bye.